Hello metalheads from all around the world. In this video I want to show 10 amazing EPs. Heavy metal and thrush metal EPs from the 80s, uh, something from the 90s and also uh, from the 2000s. Uh, these are great EPs. I'm not going to put them on any or in any order. I like them maybe some a little more, some a little less. But of course they are incredible, you know, incredible EPs. Mini LPs, you know, like uh, for the people that don't know it, I think you all know it. But like a mini LP is like like a four song, five song, six song uh, album, you know, like EP. Like a short album EP. Uh, sometimes it also has three songs, but three songs is more like a 12 inch. But there is one here. No, 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 I think they all have like four songs or more. Okay, I'm going to sh start with a great one. I made some some notes for some. Not much really to say about each of them because for sure you know most of them. Um, yeah, let's start with this Power Speed Metal uh, classic EP, the Power Mat EP, and this is some songs were re recorded later on for the first full length album. But this is The Madness Begins by the US power speed metal band Power Mat. And this is just, in my opinion, a must have, especially the song. Uh, blind leading the blind. It's a classic power mat track. Another EP that for sure you all own because it's a great uh, US metal EP. And we're talking about Give Him the Axe by Lizzie Borden, one of the early Metal Blade Records releases. Four tracks that are gold, you know. Even the long live rock and roll, um, you know, uh, from Rainbow cover song is really well done. This is great horror, terror, um, US heavy metal, really great stuff. Another great heavy metal EP. The first thing that this band released, same happened with the other bands I showed till now. Because a lot of times the band starts with EPs, and I'm talking about Obsession with Martial Law, with Mike Vesera. I mean, it's amazing. The title track is incredible. Only the Strong Will Survive is another amazing song. You know, Mike Vesera later he became the, the vocalist of Ingrid Malstein, and before that of Loudness. But this is great. Early Metal Blade Records EP. Now we go to Europe with the first release by Ostrogoth, Full Moon Rising, title track, Full Moon Eye, sorry. The title track is amazing. I also like Paris by Night very much. Great Bel metal band from Belgium. One of my favorite bands from Belgium. Together with Crossfire and Killer. Great band, Ostrogoth. Now I'm going with a later, like a like not so old release. Maybe it's like 10 years old by now. I don't see the dates on here. But I saw them live when they released this. I think from 2010 actually. Uh, Sign of the Jackal. Uh, from Italy. Very much Warlord influenced. This is a great EP. So many great songs on here. Like Heavy Metal Demons. Uh, Hellhounds. Great, great EP. From this Italian band. I saw them when they released this EP. It was the first thing they did. Great, great EP. Great Heavy Metal from Italy. With a female vocalist. I hope they they got a, a couple of full length albums out too, but this is pure traditional heavy metal. They were part of the new wave of traditional heavy metal. 
an other band that was part of it, of this new wave of traditional heavy metal, was the band Stalion with the Mounting the World. Here we have Canadian Steel is on here. Um, even a bonus track, Heavy Metal Rock and Roll. But five songs are on here. And this came out on the High Roller Records in 2013. They made a few, a couple albums after this one too. Great traditional heavy metal. Now we go back to the 80s a little bit with Savage Grace. And this is The Dominatress, still with Kenny Powell on guitars. And of course, later he went on to be, uh, to form Omen, you know, the US band Omen. You know, uh, Kenny Powell, but he was still in Savage Grace when this came out. Again, on Metal Blade Records from 83, again, like some of the other ones I showed. Fight for Your Life is a great song. Uh, the title track is a great, I mean, this is really a great EP from 1983, like I said. Great release. I think this girl is from, from this band, from the, from the LA too. Uh, she was later also in the decline of the civ uh, civilization, the metal civilization. Uh, Diamonds. I have the EP by that band. I don't remember exactly. No, I don't remember right now the name. But it's Diamond something. I guess it was Diamond something. Anyway, great EP. Another EP I always enjoyed very much is this one by Skid Row from 1993, I think it was. Does it cover songs? Five cover songs? Besides ourselves, on the B side you could find the same songs than on the A side. And of course, here we have Delivering the Goods that, uh, from Judas Priest, Psychotherapy, Come and Love Me from Kiss, Psychotherapy from um, Ramones, Little Wing was from Jimi Hendrix. And I don't remember what you are doing. I don't remember you, who that was actually, from, that's stupid, I don't remember that. But anyway, the other four songs, I remember them very well. I listened to this very much when it, when it was released. And it's really a great EP. This came out after Slave to the Grind. Then the debut, debut EP by Striper. This was first released with six tracks. And later, uh, when the first album came out, saw this on the comments. They re-released this again with two extra tracks. And this is the Yellow and Black Attack on Enigma 1984. Great, great EP. Uh, loud and Clear. Uh, Common and Rock, I love that. You Won't Be Lonely, Loving You. Great, great EP. And then the last EP, and this is like a double EP. This is uh, Bestial Devastation by Sepultura. And then uh, Overdose with Seculo XX. This is the original pressing that I got thanks to a trade I did in the 90s. I trade quite a lot of Spanish metal for South American metal with, with South American people. And this is just a great, like, um, Double EP, you know, the first release by Overdose, and also the first release by Sepultura. Great stuff. Okay, I hope you like these EPs. And before I end this video, I just want to show a couple of things I've been uh, listening to, because then I can finally put it back in my collection. And I'm going to start with Creonic Temple, Chapter 1. It was the debut album. By this band, I think they were from Germany actually. Power metal, very true metal. You know, if you like Wizard, you know, um, um, uh, so many bands. Iron Savior, for example, Storm Warrior, 
all those great bands, you know, from the early 2000s, you will like this album too. Now, so the second album was really good. And this is from 2002, if I'm not mistaken. 2002, 2000, yeah, 2002, I think it is. Chapter 1 by Creonic Temple. Another great release from Germany, Blank Guardian. Tells from the tells from the Twilight World. Early 90s power metal from Germany. I mean, yeah, this is an incredible album. Welcome to Dying, of course, is on here. The title track is really, really good. And I paid 3,000 pesetas for this. You know, back then the CDs were expensive in the early 90s. But in Europe, a lot of stuff is still released on, on vinyl too. That's why a lot of times the vinyl and the tapes were cheaper. But I remember buying this on CD. Grave Digger with Rain Gold. Also from 2003, this one. Check out the song Twilight of the Gods. Great Grave Digger track. Good album, Rain Gold. I listened to this Spanish band Last Prophecy, also from around 2002-2003. This was the release when they were singing in English. Later they released albums, but like in Spanish, with Spanish vocal, uh, Spanish uh, lyrics. Talking about the Spanish band, I listened to the debut album by Lujuria, Cuentos para Mayores. It's a great album. Especially check out. Que no lo vendan. It's a great song, Que no lo vendan. And also, um, the title track is great. Estrella del Porno, of course, is a classic Lujuria song. I also listen to El Poder del Deseo de Lujuria. And here, Angel de Tira Santa sings on two songs. I mean, you can hear his voice on two songs. And also, Elisa from Darkmoor is on here. Check out the song Solo Son Rosas. It's like quite a good song. And the lyrics is about like, you know, it's, it's no matter if you love, if a woman loves a woman. If they're really in love, you know, why are, what, who are we to judge them? You know, if they're just in love, they're in love. You know, but anyway, <laughs> that's a different story. And I listen to... Um, Running, I mean, I watched the DVD again uh, from 2002, Running Wild, when they were touring on the Brotherhood tour. I saw them also around this time. This is a great live DVD and CD. This has 13 songs only. You also have a double CD that has 19 tracks and a DVD that has 19 tracks. But this is a shorter version from this live album from 2002. And the guitar player on here was the Angel Dust guitar player that you can find playing here. And he's really good. He really plays very well, you know, he's a really good uh, guitar player. Uh, yes, also listen to this one by Accept, Predator, that I enjoy a lot more now than when it was released in the 90s. Fooled by Fire, debut album, thrush metal, you know, from the new wave of thrush metal that came out in the mid-2000s, 2005, 2006, you know, like a very, you know, big band on MySpace back then. Um, yeah, I think it's from 2007, actually. Great album, great thrush metal. Fooled by Fire. Spread the fire. I listened to Primal Fear, No Religion. It was a little bit different sounding album for the band, but I still enjoy it a lot. Also from 2007, I guess. I listened to the last Extreme album, Six. I hope to see them live this summer. I really enjoy this, this new album by the band. I also played this one by Hammerfall. It's the fifth album by Hammerfall. Fury of the Wild is great. Hammer of Justice. Bloodbound, of course, was like um, the single. Very good song. Even Kronos uh, from Venom, he sings on the last song, Knights of the 21 Century. A very long track. He's on there. 
Monty Crew. I listened to this uh, like with all rare tracks. I, you know, I really enjoyed it. And one I really enjoy a lot more now than when it was released is Black Sabbath 13. Now I really appreciate this album. Great, great album. Not too long. Aussie sounds great. A lot of great riffs. Great album. And I watched Evil or Divine from 2002 by Dio with Jimmy Bain, Simon Wright, Doc Aldrich is on here too. Dio is still in great form. 2002 and released in 2003. Uh, so, re watched the Ozzy Osbourne live at, Bud at Budokan, again from 2002. I also like it a lot more now than when it was released. I really love it now. It's practically as good as the Live, live and Loud from 93, in my opinion. Great set list. I also like the newer songs that they did, Get Me Through. They did a Junkie. That I never had. And they played quite a few uh, No More Tears songs. Like Road to Nowhere. Or I Don't Want to Change the World. You know, great songs from No More Tears. I watched this too. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. You know, once I will make an Arnold Schwarzenegger video. Because I have practically all... The movies on DVDs and VHS, and I rewatched them. This is quite quite a bad one. Sabotage from 2014. Bad acting. There's look like no, bad characters. They look like stupid in a lot of times. And this one, yeah, this one's okay. You know, of course, it's a classic. It has some humor in it too. Commando from '85. And I watched all this stuff I've been listening for the last week. I watched again this DVD. Uh, 92-2004 by Sarah Tora. A lot of clips. Rehearsal clips. Clips also from the TV. This was still when Leo was in the band. But 4-2 you can see. And the other singers. Even the first singer. The first ever concert by Sarah Tora. You can find a couple of songs on here, on the DVD. And the last thing I want to show is this 007 movie, Die Another Day, Muere Otro Dia. It was the last movie with Brosman from 2002, Pierre Brosman. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good one. You know, it's a, I like this movie. And uh, I like it even more now than when it, was, when it came out. I really enjoyed it. Okay. It was everything. Stay metal, everything.